In last week's episode, I talked about using Nokogiri to extract content from a single HTML page. Well, what if it's not just a single page that you need to extract content from? What if you need to crawl through and interact through multiple pages on a given site? For example, in this episode, I want to interact with the Tadalist site. Now, this is a simple checklist application by 37signals, and I already have an account on here, so let's first log in. And then this will just take me to my lists. And as you can see, I have one list here called wish list. And this just has some products in it that I want to import into my Rails application. So I need to interact with todalist.com to import the items in this list. And then I can use the script I created in the previous episode to grab the price for each of these products. Now the problem is that this list is a private list and I can't access, access it directly from the URL. You can even see that if I try to access this list outside of my web browser, uh, you can see I get a redirection message saying that uh, you're not authorized to access this list because it's private. So I'll need to log in in order to access this list. Well, for this, there's Mechanize. This uses Nokogiri under the hood. However, it also adds some functionality for interacting with the site, like clicking links and submitting forms and so on. Installation is very easy with gem install mechanize. Now let's open up the console and just see how this works. Now first of all, we just require mechanize. And then we need to instantiate a mechanize agent, and we can do so with www mechanize.new. Now what we want that agent to do is go to the login page for my account and fill in the password and then click sign in. So we'll just copy this URL first and then we can call agent.git and then pass in that URL to submit a git request and then it'll return a mechanized page object which includes all the attributes for that given page and as you can see it properly detected that there is a form on this page. Now at any time you can just call agent.page and that will return that same page object which is the current page you're on. And you can also call forms on this page object to return an array of forms on the page. Now as you can see we only have one form so we can access that by calling forms.first uh, and then let's just set this to a variable here. Now as you can see there's a couple form fields here. The username which is set to railscast so that's correct. Now we need to set the password, and to set the value for a form field is very easy. You could just treat it as a Ruby attribute. Just call password and then set it to whatever you want. In this case, it's just secret. And then we could submit this form by just calling submit on that form object, and that will actually return the next page that it gets to. So that takes us to this page right here that we're on. A lot of times it's helpful to follow along in the browser at the same time you're using Mechanize, so that way you can determine what to script next. Now, as you can see, we have a link here called Wishlist, so that's what we want to click on to access that list. Now, as you can see, this page has a lot of links, and we can access all the links by just calling page.links, and that will return an array of all of those links. But that's not very helpful. We need to narrow this down to the one link that we want to click on. In order to do that, we could just iterate through all these links and then find one that uh, has the text value of the one that we're wanting to click on. But there's an easier way to do this. And that is you can just call link with on the page object, and this will return um, at the link that matches a certain criteria. So it'll call let's say the text attribute on each of the links and we want to find the one that matches wishlist and that returns the one link which matches that wishlist by the way this link with method uh, it also works with form so you could do form with to return a form with a certain criteria and you can also do uh, forms with or links with the pluralized version to return multiple links or forms which match that criteria so now that we have that link, we could just call click on it, and that will click on that link and go to the resulting page, as you can see this page here. So finally, we're at our destination. This is the page that we want to extract content from using Nokogiri. So to do this, 
we just need to determine the CSS selector to use to fetch this content. And I'll use the same technique I showed in the previous episode, which is using selector gadget. That you can get this at selectorgadget.com. And so we'll load this up and then just click on one of these. Uh, we'll click on our second one and now it's selected all the items in this list. And notice it's called edit item class on CSS. So there's two methods on the page object that we can use to extract elements on the page using Nokogiri. One is called at, and this will return, if you just pass in a CSS selector, that'll return a single element that matches that selector. The other one is search, and this will return multiple elements which match that selector. And that's what we want because there's multiple links on the, or multiple items in that list there that we want, and it's just called edit item. Now, this search and at methods work directly on Nokogiri um, objects as well. So the, the Nokogiri document object that we worked with in the previous episode, those methods are just basically interacting directly on that document object. So this is a lot of content here, but it really is the content of the uh, items in the list. So let's try to get this in a more readable form. Uh, let's call text on each of these items, elements, to get the inner text content, and then we can call uh, strip on each of those in order to strip it uh, from the extra white space. And as you can see here, we're just left with the names of each of the items in the list, and that's exactly what we want. So now that we have some idea of how Mechanize works in the console, let's integrate this into our main application. So I'll be working with the same application I worked with in the last episode, but instead of just filling in the prices, we want to import that list of products as products on this website. So let's do this through a rake task. So I'll use the same rake file I created in the previous episode, but in this one we'll just add another task here called uh, import wishlist. And then this will load the Rails environment like we did before. Now, what code do we put in here? Well, we've got most of the functionality already established in the console, so wouldn't it be nice if we could just copy that code from the console and put it in here? The problem is, in the console, it's really hard to just copy the commands that you typed in because it's all mixed in with the output of each command, and it's kind of a pain. So here's a little tip. You can use this line of code right here. If you just paste that into your console, hit return, it'll return just the code that you typed in looking at the history. So you can just easily copy and paste this into your text editor. And you might want to even put this command in your .irbrc file or something so that it's easy to access whenever you want. And I'll post this in the show notes. Now we can simply paste this code in. And you might want to, you know, make username and password as arguments you pass into the script but I'll just leave it here for now. So clean this up a little bit. And what we want to do is, so we go to the login page, fill in our password, submit the form. And then what we want to do is loop through all of these links or actually items in the list and then create a product for each one. So uh, we'll just loop through each of these. So for each item, let's create a new product with that text in it. So product create, and we'll give it a name of the, uh, the item's text and call strip on it so it cleans out the white space. And that's it. That should create a product for each of those items in the list. And we can give this a try by running that import list command. So it should go to that website fetch the products, and then fill them in. So we didn't get any exceptions. Let's see if it worked. Reload our page here, and voila! Now we have a product for each of those items that were in the list. Now we just need to fill them in. So we could call the rake task we created in the previous episode, fetch prices. And then when we reload again, now a price is filled in for each of those products in that wish list. So We've successfully used Mechanize and Nokogiri to crawl through multiple pages on a site and interact with it to extract the information we want. And we could use uh, Mechanize to submit information as well by submitting 
through forms and so on. It's a really great solution if you are having to scrape a website and interact with it through the HTML interface if there isn't an API available.